like that whole thing of keeping up with the Joneses. Like who are the Joneses? Like who are these people that we are trying to keep up with? Where are they getting their money? We don't even know. So why are we trying to keep up with people when we do not even know where they are getting their money? Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Small Steps of Freedom. If this is your very first time here, Thank you so much for clicking on this video. My name is Tando and I talk about all things personal finance to help you take control of your money. And in this video, I want to talk about the two things that actually affect our relationship with money and the four active steps that you can take to improve your relationship with money. Because trust me, we all have a relationship with money, regardless of whether you have a boatload of money or you have a few thousand runs in the bank, or if you don't even want to talk about money, you still have a relationship with money. So in this video, I want to talk about the two things that actually affect your relationship with money to begin with. So the very first thing is your upbringing. So the way that you're brought up, how you see adults around you interact with money actually impacts your relationship with money. And this actually reminds me of a friend I had who always liked having at least like a thousand rands in their pocket cash it every time. Like so when they got paid, the first thing that they'll do is essentially just go to the ATM, withdraw a thousand rands. And that was actually because they saw their father when they were growing up would do the same thing. It's not because they need to have it. It's not because it's a necessity. It's just because they saw their father doing the same thing when they were growing up. And that is literally how powerful the impact that our parents have in the way that we interact with money in the way that in the habits that we take on into our own adult lives. So for example, if you grew up in a household where statements such as we just can't afford that, money doesn't grow on trees, or you have to wait until month then to get certain things because that's when the money comes in, then that impacts the way that you see and interact with your money. And the second thing that actually affects our relationship with money is or the way that we see money as being. So for example, that people equate their net worth to their self-worth. And this is a very toxic way of actually looking at money because at the core of it, money is literally just a tool so the moment you start interacting with money from a place where your self-worth depends on how much money you have how much money you make then it becomes a very toxic relationship because if your network is like high today then you feel confident you feel happy you feel comfortable but then when your network is down then you don't feel as worthy or your self-worth like takes a nose dive because your net worth is not doing that great you see what I'm saying there? So that relationship between your self-worth and your net worth makes that relationship really, really toxic. Before I even start preaching about self-worth and net worth, let's move on to the four things that you can do to actually improve your relationship with money. So the very first thing is you need to talk about money. And I know when you start taking control of your money, when you start looking and taking a closer look at your money, you might not have the people around you who are open enough to have conversations about money and this means that you might actually have to start looking for those communities especially online they exist they are there join people on twitter subscribe to youtube channels where people talk about money so you can be able to actually get comfortable in talking about money it also help you actually to stop relating to it in a place where it actually affects your self-worth and the second thing that you can do to improve your relationship with money is being honest and open about your financial situation and you don't need to tell the entire world how you're doing in your finances you don't need to even tell anyone for that matter you just need to be honest enough with yourself when you are sitting down by yourself looking through your bank statement you need to be able to be honest enough about where you are where you want to get and how you're actually going to get there. If you are deeply in debt, you need to be honest about that. If you are spending money where you're not supposed to be spending money for, I don't know, societal validation, then you need to be honest about that. You don't need to tell everyone, you just need to be able to say it honestly to yourself because that's, that's where the magic is. When you're honest to yourself, when you're sitting down there between you and your God, the third thing that you can actually do to improve your relationship with money is to actually start seeing money for exactly what it is. And money is literally just a tool. Just a tool. It'll, it's a tool that you can use for whatever you want. That's why if 
you and your colleague earn the same amount of money your, your colleague might buy a car and you might buy a house or you might invest your money while your colleague spends their money because it's just a tool it essentially does whatever you want it to do so once you start seeing it as a tool and as, as, a, as something that will help you achieve what you want to achieve at the end of the day because money money is not the goal money is just the vehicle that gets us to our goal so if you're making a lot of money you can't just sit around with your money you need to do something with your money right that's when you start investing or that's and then you need to start enjoying your money at some, some level where you take trips and so on so once you start seeing money as a tool that's when it will actually start working for you because that's when you start telling your money exactly where you want it to go the last thing is you need to stop comparing yourself just just stop comparing yourself to other people especially on social media where you see people taking trips to Europe where you see people buying the most expensive cars where they're buying the most expensive houses or whatever stop comparing yourself to other people because you do not know what their situation is like that whole thing of keeping up with the Joneses like who are the Joneses like who are these people that we're trying to keep up with where are they getting their money we don't even know so why are we trying to keep up with people where we do not even know where they're getting their money so regardless of what's happening around you regardless of what other people are doing with their money you should concentrate on what you want to do with your own money because that's that's where you have all the information that's where you have all the control and that's all you should care about not what other people are doing stop like Someone needs to point me to these Joneses because we need, we really need to stop comparing ourselves to the Joneses or to the Nyatis or to whoever. Anyway, to wrap up this video, the road to a healthier relationship with your money starts with analyzing where your current relationship, where your current feelings when it comes to, to money actually stem from. Does it stem from your childhood? Does it stem from a sense of you like spending money to make yourself feel better? Does it stem from seeing money as a scarce resource? You need to sit down right now and say, the current state of affairs, with the current way that I'm interacting with my money, where does that all come from? Why do I feel the way that I feel about money? And then once you do that, then you can start actually taking the active steps to improving that relationship. You start talking about money, joining communities where people talk about money. And then once you do that, then you need to start being honest with yourself about where you are, where you want to get, and how you're going to be getting there. And then the third thing is obviously seeing money for what it is. It's just a tool, guys. Literally, it is just a tool. Like it'll do what you want it to do then the last thing that you need to start doing is then not comparing yourself being content with your own situation focusing on your own lane not looking sideways to see what he is doing this or john is doing this they are running their own race you need to run your own race i talked a lot in this video this is a topic that i feel very passionately about because that's where everything begins you can't build generational wealth without fixing your relationship with money you can't start building your own net worth without fixing your own relationship with money so that's why it's so it's so it's so important guys it's so important but anyway and so i see you on my next video be sure to hit the like button subscribe comment down below let me know what your relationship with money is looking like right now and i will see you on my next video bye guys